Uh, we say it. Yeah, bro. Week two. It's not week two, so the uh, second update. Um, how about, I don't think I said. I don't think I said what. Um, how many weeks I've been bulking for? I think it's like a month now, like five weeks. I started. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um, we're in May. I started the month before May, so probably like. February, no, 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 April, April, I think, I, I can't, I, my brain, my brain's fried, I had like, if you see my, um, on my other videos, the secret to, to fast muscle gain, it's like the shake that I make with like a bunch of oats, and one of the main side effects is when you have it, your brain goes numb, like not even your brain, your whole body, like, you, you shut down, you can't do anything, I think the worst mistake you can do is have that or have like a lot of carbs and then try and make yourself do work or be productive because that's impossible but yeah that's 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 my excuse as to, um, as to why i can't think of when i started but yeah how it's been going it's been going good to be fair um i had exams i think i mentioned that last week as well so just been just been focusing on on making sure i'm doing as good as possible and Thing. <clears throat> sorry what that's meant is i'm not i mean i'm still i'm still on track with everything like my body weight is 94.3 kilos which is which is on track um it's just meant that like maybe the quality of training i suffered like a tiny bit i still hold myself really accountable even with studying daily and, and getting like hitting my, my weekly goals with studying so there's no like major compromises i'm having to make but it's just one of them ones where on a normal on a normal training session i might do maybe four hours or three hours and it's I, I hit every single muscle group to the intensity i want to and every exercise every exercise i select is done with really good intensity whereas now maybe it's like a minus two of the workouts but i still end up doing them in the evening so i'm still i'm still really good with that but yeah um arms have been exploding Back, back has been doing bits. I think the only thing that's lagging now is maybe I don't, I don't like micro not analyzing my physique or like saying oh, upper chest relative to lower chest and stuff like that because I'm still growing, I'm still developing. But <clears throat> yeah, my chest is still my chest hasn't grown as rapidly as some of the other body parts, but. Since we last spoke, I bought Omega-3. I might have mentioned this as well last week, but I'm starting to feel a bit of soreness on my knees. And I'm not willing to take the risk of continuing to train when it hurts. So I've, um, I've read up and I've searched up and asked some people and they've recommended um, certain stretches and warm-up exercises that I, that I can do before legs, which is what I'm doing now. And... Um, taking omega-3s and since taking them i mean i took them yesterday maybe it's placebo but i feel my knees less now like i feel just in general like i feel less like um sort of less pain and less soreness when i even when i work out and stuff which is which is really good but um yeah my legs haven't i haven't noticed that that many like that extreme growth on my legs maybe that's because i took a week off training them to um to give my knees a bit of a break but yeah body weight's 94.94.3 kilos so i'm on track um i don't appear to be getting fat in the sense like um i'm not suffering my conditioning isn't suffering that much like when i get the pumps maybe because it's like the added tissue like i can still see like obviously it's not crazy separation but I can still distinguish between like my bicep and my tricep or I can still have I still have some lines on my quads so I'm not so yeah so it's not like um I'm not worried about reducing calories or reducing carbs at the minute but um yeah what I, what I wanted to talk about though as like a topic for this I saw a video yeah 
it was like um about beginners it was like a guy that he brought around a beginner to the gym told him what workouts to do and stuff and for some reason the guy the guy that brought around the the guy that was new to the gym made him do sbds like squat bench deadlift and i thought to myself like what like how uneducated how uneducated are these like flipping creators like making a guy that's new do like heavy like heavy compounds that if they mess up the form they're destroyed and i thought like as someone that's been going for a while i mean some of you guys that watch are new so i thought like at least i could share my own perspective so you can guys so you guys can get a general idea of how to like start up and how to go through fitness and how to go through the gym without getting scammed or without getting injured and the main the main overarching point that i want to make is do what you enjoy like obviously like when you start something new and you're not really that good at it it's going to feel uncomfortable to do it but find a way to enjoy or to be happy within that discomfort and what i mean by that is do like for exercises doing the exercise is going to feel uncomfortable you might not be used to putting that sort of stress on your body but choose an exercise that doesn't make you look like a knobhead and what i mean by that is like you could do like a dumbbell press a flat dumbbell press which is easy to learn and there's not that much technique you really need to have especially when you do lighter weights choose something like that over a cable chest fly and the reason I say that, you do a cable chest fly, your form's not really going to be that good because you're new. You don't know the, the mechanics. On top of that, you're going to make yourself look like an idiot in front of everyone else, which is going to make you feel insecure, which is end up, which is going to end up making you want to leave or never show up again. And I made that mistake. Like, I look back on, I've done some movements, like, especially some oblique stuff, where I look back and I'm like, Right, like they really got me. Like I made myself look like a, I made I made it so much harder for myself because I brought that sort of negative attention towards me by doing movements that aren't really solving the problem of why what why I started the gym in the first place. So that's my advice. Do you like simple movements that you enjoy. On top of that, do that for six months and. For, don't don't go in a crazy bulk just have some more protein that you usually have like maybe i'd say like two extra cans of tuna a day on top of the diet you have and maybe like some cereal or something like that so like an extra bowl of cereal so an extra bit of carbs do you know what i mean because yes it's not optimal right but you want to build the the routine of showing up and you want to build like build the desire to get stronger and better so that you you feel like you're willingly sacrificing parts of your day or you're willingly taking in more meals to um, progress on something you enjoy because you can't go from zero to all of a sudden bodybuilder diet high intensity training complicated movements like you're going to injure yourself within six months guaranteed and i'm speaking from ex i'm speaking from experience of like listening to other people so that's that's what you need to do in my opinion but yeah for six months just do that and see what happens in it because you're going to make progress within that six months because it's going to be your first six months of training and you're going to be learning the mindset that's going to allow you to stick with fitness and not get bored of it or not not get over like overwhelmed if you know what i mean and after that six months that's when you could start listening to more advice of like, oh, is this movement better than this movement? Or you can learn about like, oh, should I go on a lean bulk or um, a dirty bulk? Because then you have the experience of lifting to, to know how to apply it correctly. But yeah, let me know. Um, as always, if you like it, like liking and watching and, and leaving comments is how I know that you guys enjoy it. And so if you do that, like, if you leave a comment about, like, what you want me to talk about, or, like, if you're struggling with something, 
in regards to fitness or whatever and you leave a comment about it then i'll know to talk about it but yeah catch you guys in a bit